One of our recent goals has been to significantly increase the user's ability to send optimized programs to the machine and not use their machine as an expensive simulator. By doing this, you guys can create better code so that when that program is loaded on the machine, you can get that first part cut far more quickly. To take advantage of this inside of a spree, we want to have as much of the actual components built into the digital twin. So spending a little bit of time upstream of the machine inside of a spree will save a lot more time at the machine. This is going to be a quick tutorial on setting up a part for a lathe machine. So one of the things that you'll notice first when you start a spree is if you are looking at the file area, you see here that we have an open and an import command. The open command is to open up a file that you've already saved as an Esprit file. Now if you want to read in just a CAD model like from SolidWorks or you know any of the design softwares, you would want to use the import. So we're going to pick import and I'm going to come to uh, my data folder where I keep some of my models here. I'm going to go to Turning Solids and just open one. So what we did is we opened up a Parasolid X underscore T file. And you'll see here that the model is not located, nor is it oriented in the correct uh, position or orientation. So when you import something, it's going to be highlighted. So if I click elsewhere, you'll see that the model is no longer highlighted. So the same commands are still here. You can right click and say select all or you can hit control A on your keyboard for control all and that will highlight your model. So what we want to do now is just uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll just right click again and say copy and show you guys that we still have the translate the rotational commands that we've had in the past uh, but we have some, in case you haven't noticed or uh, maybe you're upgrading from an older version, uh, we have the orientation commands. Under the home ribbon, the home ribbon here, you come down here to the middle and we have these align commands. We're going to use these commands. So I'm going to hit control, uh, sorry, I'm going to just pick this face here. And what I want to first do is snap this part so that it's aligned along Z. So the Z will be normal to this face and it will put my Z0 point at the face that I've selected. So I'm going to come here and just click on Align Z and you'll see here that my blue Z vector is now coming normal from the face that I selected. And the face has been placed at a Z0 plane and now I can see that my part is extending uh, backwards in Z. Now if I did this holding the shift key I would get the opposite result. So I'll come up here and hold shift and hit that icon again and you'll see that now my blue vector is going basically into the part. So we can control which way we want. I'm just going to hit uh, that again so that my Z vector is positive moving away from the face. Now, uh, what I want to do is, you know, it's in a location here in this uh, Z0 plane in X and Y that, you know, I'm not really familiar where this is at. I don't need to worry about that because I can automatically snap this part to be centered around the Z axis. Now, I can use any basically turned diameter face. I could pick, you know, the OD face. I could pick an ID face. You know, these are all revolved basically around the center line, so it doesn't really matter uh, which one I pick as long as it's a cylindrical face that's obviously going to be revolved around the machine Z axis. So again, I'm going to hit the Align Z, and this is going to place my part about the Z axis. So um, that's basically you know, the easiest way to position your CAD model in space for machining.